Welcome back. Brace yourselves, because today we are diving into a real gaming scandal. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but what about outright theft? Someone stole my game. Can you believe it? Can, can you fucking believe it? The audacity of these people to steal my precious hard work and then to release their own game. Shame! Shame! Just kidding. Now I got your attention. Let's dive into the real story behind these two strikingly similar games. Toy Cavers and Bread and Fred. You've heard of Bread and Fred, maybe. Uh, tethered together, navigating a merciless game world. Now let me introduce you to Toy Cavers. They look familiar, right? At first glance, you might think one is copying the other. Well, let's hold on to that thought for a second. If you do a little bit of research, it turns out that Bread and Fred has been in development for at least a year before Toy Cavers was developed. So here's an email I received a few months ago pointing out that um, Toy Cavers may be being copied. Hi, sorry to bother you. I was on Instagram and a game similar to yours came up. Not the same game, but with a similar feeling and mechanics. Search Bread and Fred on Steam and you'll see for yourself. Cheers! So I went and I took a look. So I'm watching a trailer and I'm like, yeah, they're tethered together. They're doing these swings and stuff like, but the first thing that I immediately noticed was that the rope does not interact with the environment. Thing to say, well, it's not exactly the same. Um, yeah, they got the two, the two characters tied together with a rope, but that's, that seems to be about it. So my response was, uh, thanks for reaching out. I took a look at Bread and Fred. It looks like a neat game. It looks pretty similar in regards to the rope mechanics, but it's not quite the same. I've actually seen a few games made before Toy Cavers with similar mechanics. No worries. Um, so about a year before Toy Cavers was developed, uh, GMTK Game Maker's Toolkit ran a game jam where the theme was joined together. And a lot of games in that jam had mechanics just like these. It's characters tied together. Um, I don't know if any of them actually realized the design as well as Toy Cavers or Bread and Fred has done, but it's not like this is a new concept that is coming out of thin air. Like, yeah, the core idea of the characters being tethered together is similar, but the way the mechanics are executed and the physics and the design are different. So Toy Cavers was made in a week for a game jam for the Lost Relic YouTube channel. Got a lot of praise during the jam and was even featured on Kotaku. Pretty cool, right? Toy Cavers borrows a lot of ideas and systems and mechanics from Below the Ocean, which was my first commercial game on Steam. So I was already playing with these tether mechanics. I haven't played Bread and Fred, but it looks like the reviews are saying that the design is mostly about uh, inducing rage and it's brutal and unforgiving. Level design will reset your progress um, as far back as it wants, Un like it's unforgiving, right? Where Toy Cavers is more of a puzzle-oriented approach, um, kind of like a puzzle platformer. They're, I don't think they're the same game. They offer similar experiences, but also are unique in their own. Regarding similarities in video games, isn't that like what all video games are doing? We stand on the shoulders of these gaming giants that came before us. Like we're talking about a 2D side-scrolling platformer. Like if, we, if we're gonna say that um, game developers, if we're gonna say that game developers can't copy each other, then like nobody gets to make a jump button anymore. Nobody gets to shoot bullets out of their gun. I'm, I have to admit, I felt like there was a missed opportunity on my behalf when I saw how successful Bread and Fred uh, had become. Um, I didn't want to foster that bitterness, and I chose I chose to see it more as like, yeah, that was a good idea that you had, and look, it's it's doing pretty well, isn't it? It's, it's somewhat somewhat of a shame that Bread and Fred exists because I was hoping to get back to Toy Caver someday and like expand on that idea. And I'm sort of afraid that if I was to do that, that I would be the copycat. Like now I'm going to be called the copycat. And 
Part of what makes game development exciting for me is when I'm doing something that I feel like no one else is doing, when I feel like I'm exploring new territory. And if if I'm just going down the same path that Bread and Fred goes down, I'm gonna be a little bit less interested. But to go back, I don't think they're the same game. There's so many, I really feel like Toy Cavers has a very different approach to, to these tether mechanics and the ideas that I had and where to take that don't appear in Bread and Fred, at least not on the surface, uh, not from what I've seen through the trailers or a few of the gameplay um, videos I've watched. Um, so yeah, in the world of game development, it's quite normal to borrow elements from other games. Like we can't have any games if we're not allowed to copy some elements from the games that came before. We have to accept that. That's just part of the process. There is a line where it becomes like shameless copycatting, right? Like it becomes shameless stealing. I don't think this is the case here. Um, I'm afraid that if I was to go ahead and continue with Toy Caver development, that people would think that I'm doing that to Bread and Fred. Like I'm just trying to jump on the bandwagon and steal some of its thunder. All that said, if you want to support Bread and Fred, you have my blessing. If you want to support me and my work, you can purchase Below the Ocean on Steam. Head over to itch.io and play and donate to any of the games I have on there. Wishlist Tuttle Starflower Harvest on Steam coming June 20th, 2023. It's a small game about growing flowers. And with that, I thank you. Good night.